In the meantime, the Bridger Solar Team at Montana State University is doing something it hasn't done at the university in a very long time. MTN's Emma Hamilton is live in studio with all the details. That's right, Caitlin and Kevin in Bernard Hall at MSU. There's much more going on than simply just classes. It's been a work in progress since the September of 2017, but the dreams of these engineering students are finally coming to life as they finish building a solar car. I've actually ran into the whole team uh, back in the 90s. I actually met the professor that ran the team. I got some parts from him and uh, some advice. And uh, one of the things he wanted to see was the team go on, and I, I really wanted to show him that. Allery had dreams of building a solar car and bringing a club to campus back in 2017. And with the interest of his classmates, that dream came true. This car here is one of the most environmentally friendly cars out there. So the light comes down. Uh, it will shine on our solar panels. This creates our energy. Uh, that energy then goes to our battery storage system sitting in the back of the car. Uh, we then take that energy and run it to our motor and run it to all of our other electrical systems. And we continuously charge and discharge throughout the day uh, to power the car. Once complete, the car will be registered in the state of Montana and have all of your typical car features. It's not ready to drive quite yet, and I don't know if these guys really trust me to drive this, but once it's done, it'll be about 350 pounds. The team has also been able to simulate various scenarios on the computer to protect its driver. Make sure that whoever we put inside of this car will stay safe in the event of an accident, and that's a really cool thing that I get to do because it's real life. So there is possibilities of this car being a crash or some part failing, and we want to design it and build it so that we can minimize risk of injury or something worse than that. This summer, the team is racing in Austin, Texas at an international competition, something that's been a goal for quite some time. To see this thing, uh, you know, rolling around, going around under its own power, and just to see uh, all of these designs that we, we've been working with and all the weekends spent in the shop coming to fruition and, and turning into what we wanted it to is pretty incredible. And the car will be at MSU's Earth Day celebration on Friday, along with the city of Bozeman's Earth Day festivities on Saturday. Back to you at the desk. All right, thank you, Emma.